do you own the Zircon Center Finding HD 900 Multi Scanner? Are you not getting good results? Can you not find a stud to save a picture frame? Well, of course you answered yes to those questions. That's why you clicked on this video. All right, here's your hammer, here's your walkie, and here's your stud finder. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, oh, well, it's working. <laughs> All right, joke time is over. Work time has begun. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave me. Uh, let's get serious here. So, we actually had a request on how to properly use a stud finder. Now I've owned a lot of different stud finders over the years. The one that's in my tool bag right now is this Zircon HD 900. If you haven't seen the video where I actually show you this com coming out of my, my tool bag, we'll link the video here. Check it out. You can see what other tools right along with this Zircon stud finder in my tool sack. I'm going to show you a secret little tip of why people don't get the results that they want with their stud finder, you're gonna to have to wait till the end. You're gonna watch this whole video. You're gonna to say to yourself, I'm not getting the results that Vince is getting here. I don't know, what am I doing different? I'm gonna show you what it is. You're gonna go, oh, I can't believe it. It makes sense now. Stick around till the end and don't skip to the end because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it somewhere sneaky, not necessarily right at the end, right, maybe right before the end. I might even do it in the middle. So you're going to be scrubbing around to trying to find a secret. Don't bother. Stay tuned. Watch the whole video. You're going to find out what you're doing wrong. So as you can see here, there are a lot of different functions on this Zircon HD 900. They have standard stud scan. Okay. That's your leftmost position. You'll be using that setting where you know you have like one sheet of drywall, maybe half inch drywall to five eighths drywall. It's for standard stud finding purposes. What we'll do is we'll put, uh, we'll put our stud finder on the wall here. We'll push our button, okay? And we'll just move from left to right, right to left, okay? You can see here, boom, we found the, the middle of our stud. You can keep going down the wall. And what you could do is you could just mark your Mark your, your stud here. Boom, a little pencil mark. Okay, we could keep moving down the wall, find the edge. Boom, we found the center again. And that's the good part about this. For screwing purposes, if you wanted to, you could mark your leftmost edge, put a, a hash mark here, then find the center, and then find the rightmost edge and you know you could screw within that area. I just marked the center. This way I could use, I could screw directly in that area, okay? Now, we take our stud finder off, and a lot of times what you could do is to speed your process. Once you know you have your 16s marked out, you could see that there. See our first mark? That's how, how accurate that Zircon stud finder is. I mean, it's pretty good, right? Look at that. What you could do is to, to find the rest of your studs you could just move down the line and start marking off your studs. Because pretty much there should be, in standard stick framing, there will be generally a stud every 16 inches. You could run into a situation though where you're finding studs every 24 inches. But as you can see here, we have them on 16s. Now, you can see we have pencil mark here, pencil mark here. I bet you if I put a pencil mark here, let's use our Zircon. HD 900. You guys want to bet if there's a stud there or not? Leave it down in the comments section below. Let's see if there's a, I want to know if you think there'll be a stud here or not. Leave it there. We're going to take a break. Um, doo -doo -doo. Leave a comment below. All right, we're back. Now, we'll push our button. Sure enough, it's there. So there's a, there's a handy little trick. Once you've found maybe your first two studs, you confirm they're 16 inches, a lot of times you could just come through with a tape measure and mark out the rest of your studs. There's a little trick to using your stud finder. The other thing is, when you're using your tape measure, there's a lot of time-saving 
math already done in this tape measure for you. You can see that your 16s are marked out with the red box. So boom, there's a little tidbit. See it right here, the 64 is marked out. The 80, 80 inch is marked out. If you haven't seen the video, tape measure tricks and tips, check it out here. We talk about those little red boxes and some other built-in features of standard tape measures of the day. What if you have a wall that's maybe plaster or you have multiple sheets of drywall? Maybe on the standard stud scan, you're not getting a reading. You say to yourself, oh my Lord, there's gotta be a stud in here somewhere. Beep, 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 beep. No, I'm kidding. It could be that you have multiple sheets of drywall or you have a plaster wall. You would use your stud finder in the same manner, sliding a left from right, pushing down your button, but you would first set it to deep scan. So if you're not getting a reading on your wall, maybe you have double thick drywall or you have plaster, you, you wanna try that deep scan. Now there's two more readings in here. You have a setting for a metal scan, okay? It will detect metal in a wall. It could be any kind of metal, kitchen metal. Kitchen metal is kind of a, what they use in metal framing. When you have metal type studs, they use a thick kitchen metal it's called, or metal strapping along the studs so you could use screws to attach your cabinets to the wall. So if you wanted to locate that, you could use your metal scan. All you would do is set your stud finder, your Zircon Center Finding HD 900 to metal scan, push the button, and you'd move it along the wall. Now, it will put you in the vicinity of metal it might not put you exactly on the metal. It'll put you in the vicinity. And now how do I know that? The way I know that is, is that the metal that it's picking up in this wall is the actual metal stud. So it puts you in the area of the metal. It doesn't necessarily put you exactly on the metal. Okay, and that's another feature of this stud finder. It's not just finding wooden studs, it will find your metal studs and it will find them accurately, okay? But it will give you a general idea of where the metal is in a wall. Also, the metal scan might help you find things like water lines and sewer lines in your walls. It's not gonna help you if you have things like PVC pipe or PEX, but if you have copper or cast iron, the metal scan could help you find it. Another good feature is the AC scan. What you would do is, you'd put it all the way to the rightmost setting here, and after you're done marking out all of your studs, you would come back and do a quick scan, left to right, right to left, of the entire wall. Of course, you would go, you know, nice steady pace, not too fast and do a quick scan of the entire wall to see if there's any electric. Now, there might be some instances where it might not determine if there is electric in the wall. Because quite frankly, although you're not seeing any outlets on this wall, there is an outlet on the other side of this wall. The AC scan function on this unit, I'm kind of, split with it. At least you can use it to identify those non-metallic cables like Romex. It might not pick up your metal clad cable. So I, I'm a little, I would say scan the wall anyway. The problem is, is that it might give you a false sense of security for drilling duties. The thing is, is that if you're driving in studs, you should be okay as long as you're keeping your screws or nails within the stud, you have a better chance of not hitting any electrical anyway. So this is the point of video where everybody's screaming at the top of their lungs, but that's how I use my Zircon HD 900. I, I never get it to work that way. You haven't given us your tip yet, Vince. You can't sign off yet. You haven't given us your tip. Well, don't worry, everybody. This is the part of the video where I give you my big tip.
on how to use this Zircon HD 900. And here it is. If you're not getting the results that you want, I find a lot of people, what they'll do is, they'll push the button on their stud finder and then put it on the wall. See how inaccurate the readings are? Matter of fact, it's telling me everywhere there isn't a stud as opposed to where the stud actually is. So here's my big tip. And you can take my tip if you want it or you can leave it, it's up to you. Make sure that you're putting your stud finder down first, then pushing your button, and then you go searching for your stud. Boom! If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you know somebody that's got a Zircon center finding HD 900 multi-scanner, share this video with them. They probably have it sitting in a bucket somewhere. I'm not gonna use that thing. It can never reliably find a stud. Beep, 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 beep. Nah, I'm only kidding. But as always, thanks a lot and have a great day. Did you like that video? Wondering what to watch next? Well, why don't you click over here and watch this video? Or click over here and watch this video. If you really like our content, we hope you consider getting subscribed by clicking right here. Thanks a lot and have a great day, guys.